The White House has accused Russia of attempting to interfere in the upcoming U.S. presidential elections and has announced wide-ranging actions against two employees of the Russian-backed media network RT, formerly known as Russia Today. Russia has denounced the sanctions. To talk more on this, we're now being joined by Dr. Sergei Markov. He's joining us live from Moscow. He's the former spokesperson for the Russian President Vladimir Putin and he's joining us live from Moscow. Welcome to Beyond, Mr. Sergei. Hello. Yes. First up, what do you have to say on the sanctions imposed by the U.S. on two RT employees for interference in the upcoming U.S. polls? Uh, first of all, it's uh, a lie about Russian interventions uh, through uh, Russia today. Uh, but uh, it's a very interesting uh, uh, strategy of uh, election committee of Kamala Harris. Uh, in fact, uh, Vladimir Putin uh, keeps in his hands results of the United States uh, presidential elections. Uh, not secretly, but openly, uh, it's uh, uh, on Vladimir Putin can influence very efficiently the result of this election. In fact, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin uh, can choose. Uh, almost uh, can choose uh, the uh, winner of the presidential race uh, by a very simple decision uh, to continue war on Ukraine or uh, to stop war on the uh, peace break. Uh, according to sociology, 83% uh, of the uh, American voters afraid that this is proxy war between Russia and America. Uh, which uh, we can see in Ukraine, can move to the direct nuclear war between uh, Russia and America and can finally destroy, uh, fully kill all Americans in this uh, nuclear catastrophic uh, war. It means for 83 percent of Americans, uh, Donald Trump is candidate of peace and Kamala Harris candidate of uh, war. Uh, that's why uh, uh, if this war continues, uh, Trump will win. If that's why Kamala Harris wants to stop uh, this war to make peace break. But, of course, Russia demands very good conditions for itself. Right. Uh, but Americans are uh, hesitating to do it. It means that if Putin agree with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden uh, suggestion about peace break, Kamala Harris will win. If Putin disagree and he continues this war, most of the Americans still will continue to regard Kamala Harris as candidate of war, which moved America right. to the nuclear catastrophe. Right. Uh, Donald Trump will win. So no reason for uh, uh, Russia to have another intervention. Uh, but now, <laughs> election uh, White House want to change this situation. And they want to accuse Vladimir Putin that Vladimir Putin is working for uh, uh, Donald Trump. It's again repeating so-called uh, investigation of Russia uh, uh, interference to the election, which happened uh, uh, four years uh, ago. Uh, and it was a lie that time. Now it proves that it's lie. It's lying yeah, from White House. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just, just lie. You say that it's a lie, but uh, reports suggest that two employees of uh, Russia's uh, network, RT, Russia Today Network, they paid around $10 million to a Tennessee-based U.S. company. And that company then, they used fake IDs as well, and that, that company then contracted the U.S. influencers to spread disinformation on various topics. There were three major topics. Number one, war in Gaza, immigration, and U.S. elections. What do you have to say on that? All of the special operation of the American intelligence service community, all this uh, in Tennessee, uh, I'm absolutely sure they will find in other states, all of these uh, uh, firms uh, have been constructed by uh, United States intelligence service community. They make, uh, you know, uh, fake news not uh, for, from nothing, about nothing, but they created this uh, 
uh, uh, firms, uh, they created these actors and they're doing also, you know, it means that uh, agents of the United States uh, uh, Intelligence Service uh, worked as agents of the uh, Russia today. They created uh, this uh, case for accusation of uh, Donald Trump. It's the same repeating of uh, they made uh, four years ago and uh, uh, eight years ago. 100% falsify uh, election. In fact, it's crime, of course, from the American uh, intelligence and Serbian community. Those officers who um, organize all this stuff with tenancy firms and another blah, 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 all this stuff, they should be arrested and put to the prison. They should get, uh, uh, they should get uh, you know, many uh, years of prison, but it's 100% Organized provocation from American and terrorist service government. All right, your country. Russia country's... doesn't need. All right. Right. I was saying that your country's spokesperson, foreign minister spokesperson, Maria Zakharova, has said that Russia is working on a response after reports came of two RT employees being sanctioned over disinformation campaign and has warned that the response will be harder and it will be something that nobody can expect. What what do you think can the U.S. anticipate on a response? Do you think Russia will in return sanction U.S. media? Yes, it's possible uh, sanction of uh, against uh, U.S. journalists. But in the speaking, it's not our way. Who doesn't like it? Uh, which Russian government to make some sanction against U.S. media, which doesn't like. Um, we prefer to have normal dialogue. Uh, we prepare, prepare Russian journalists uh, work normally in United States and European countries, and uh, uh, from uh, journalists from United States and European media also work properly. But if they make this provocation, if they arrest some people, if they, uh, uh, you know, uh, impose some sanction against people, Russia just to keep on uh, independence uh, and. Uh, sovereignty have uh, to give uh, a response. It means that it's a strange situation. The Russian government doesn't want to kick out some of the American journalists, but has to do. Mm. Um, do you think these sanctions on the RT employees will have any implications? Mm, I think it will, uh, because it's uh, a provocation of intelligence service. Uh, uh, for sure, they will have uh, some uh, continuation, I would say. Uh, I'm sure that they found something in Tennessee. Uh, uh, and, you know, my prediction, because this provocation has political information, uh, standard political information, uh, political information uh, basis, uh, they will uh, uh, continue as political information uh, projects. That's why they need uh, uh, to keep this uh, uh, topic, uh, or this issue on the top. They will have uh, to give some new news. Mm. Uh, that's why they will find something in one week. They'll find another uh, firm in another uh, 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 United States uh, and... Uh, uh, then I asked, so they, I'm sure that they will continue uh, to find uh, these new actors. But all these five uh, actors who, who uh, according to their idea, work for the Russia, they can be produced by American intelligence service community who are making uh, this uh, uh, provocation to the interest of the Kamala Harris election. It's exactly interference to election. Interference from the United States Criminal Intelligence Service. Right, Dr. Segi, thank you for joining us and we're on with your opinion. My pleasure.